Hello everyone and welcome to the Lunchlot Gaming Channel. I'm here today with another three mods for you in our Awesome Art Mod series. I've got the Glowtown mod, I've got the Astral Arc map, and pre-made structures mod for you today and they're all very cool mods so if you enjoy this video at any point please hit like subscribe ring the bell for notifications all that stuff that really helps the channel out if you like modded content and modded gameplay i also play primal fear on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays over on twitch tv and the link is down below and i'm also going to be doing a new series on the crystal isles map as soon as it launches which is nine o'clock tonight as of time of recording and that will be a pugnacia modded series so if you like pugnacia come hang out and enjoy okay i hope you enjoy the video okay so this first mod is the glowtail by zenum and as you can see it, it spawns in a huge rideable Glowtail and it has a lot of the features of a rock drake and combined with the features of a glowtail and it's pretty cute I won't lie so this one came out with nice purple colors underneath um, I'm not a huge fan of the orange but you know that's just color variation and if I just go over there quickly I'll show you what it can do right so as you can see it glides like a rock drake its stats this is the level i spawned in at level 225 and it's got some levels i haven't applied them yet but its stats are pretty decent um let's just go kill this listra over here so it's got a left click and a right click attack that seem to do the same thing um you can knock down trees with it which is pretty useful uh, some dev raptors here uh Right, so if you press C, you activate its charge light. And it doesn't actually appear to have a charge light thingy. What's happening instead is its stamina runs down. Whoa, Ravagers. So yeah, it deals pretty effectively with a pack of Ravagers, which is nice. Although it did take about half health thanks to those gash attacks. Uh, let's just pump some health. Ooh, that's a cute animation. Uh, let's pump some weight. And you can't pump movement speed on it, so let's pump melee damage. Right, so its stamina runs down because of the charge light, but if I turn that off, it goes back to normal. And it also has the camo ability of a rock drake, which you can't deactivate. Once it's activated, it stays camoed. And that lasts for about 12 seconds and then there's a debuff afterwards. So I'll just wait for that to run out. There we go. Right, so it flies as Rock Drake, but it doesn't climb as Rock Drake. So once I'm here, it's attached itself to the wall. It doesn't climb at all um, or move, but I can look in a direction and jump right into a Sarko apparently. And it's actually pretty speedy. I mean, 200% uh, speed is nothing to be sneezed at. So it also has uh, emotes you can use. So uh, let's just check that out. Okay. Let's go into third person and check that out. Okay. And those give it a little health regeneration buff. No, it's so cute. That is my favourite. Like the what the hell is that emote? Yeah, I just licked its eye. I find it weird when uh, when lizards do that. Okay, cool. So yeah, so that gives it a little health regeneration buff when you use it. And finally, it does get a stamina regeneration buff when it eats insects. So let's just uh, charge Glowbug. There you go. Five second insect eater stamina regen buff, which is quite handy. So I think this thing's absolutely adorable. Um, it doesn't quite have all the functionality of a rock drake, which I like. It's like it's not a direct pour over. I prefer things when they're you know you've got a modded creature that has its own strengths and weaknesses rather than just being nothing but the strengths which i think is very cool but given that it's also got its own charge light i mean stamina is going to be an issue but 
it would be pretty useful one or two of these for um, surface exploration maybe coupled with a charge pet uh, a charge light pet as well so let's just get away from that carcanos so yeah so yeah all in all this is a pretty cool mod that I think looks really cute I like the attention to detail that's gone in on the texturing and on the actual use and value of the creature as well it probably isn't quite as good as an actual rock drake but you know for just sheer adorableness or having something on a modded server I think it works pretty well okay onwards with the next mod Okay, so this next mod is called Astral Arc by Shadow Song. It's a map, a very, very small map, but it is amazingly well done. You can really color me impressed with this one. So the idea behind this map is that it be a small map just for server events. Basically, it's its own little thing where you can come and host server events. It's still a work in progress. They do have a few more things they're planning on adding, but just this main island bit is pretty much done and it is very cool. So welcome to the Astral Arc. And if you come in here, it's got a very like Lost World Jurassic Park feel to it. And uh, it's got signs everywhere. So we've got the arena, the Colosseum, the ruins and storage area. And I'll just take you through those and show you how they work. So the first one we come to, I think is the arena. So you follow this path round and then you've got, oh, the Colosseum even, sorry and yeah you've got this this structure here so it's very very cool like a uh, colosseum you can get up onto the viewing platforms i think and it's got plant species outside so that you can um you can heal after a fight and this is for like sort of gladiatorial pvp combat and i'm really loving the attention to detail that's gone into putting these structures in place it's really funky and I, i'm loving the flaming manticore that's that's really cool so uh, this mod is completely clean you can use it without any mods whatsoever uh, so just a completely vanilla server should have no problems with it at all and yeah that's really cool so let's just see how you get up onto that top platform okay yeah so the stairs round at the side here cool um, but yeah so you can come here and watch the fights which is awesome Right, uh, the next area is the staging area and then that leads quite naturally into the arena, sorry, storage area. So you've got the storage area here. Um, you've got a couple of terminal upload terminals. So you can download your dinos here. You've got donations, I'm not too sure what that's for. Uh, cool little water feature. And over here you've got teleporters. It kind of boggled me at first because I was quite far away and I didn't realize I could actually fit through there but it's just a normal sized door. And then we've got a couple of cool statues here, like the holographic um, statues. That's the King Titan and a mech. Very nice. And you come in here and you've got some teleporters. And I'll show you those in a second. So, round here. Ooh, I haven't been to this bit. What is this bit? And check this out. Cool wrong turn and turn and ended up somewhere I wasn't expecting to be okay cool run and patchy yeah so this is kind of like um I'm not too sure what this area is for but it's funky okay we're back at the uh, the Colosseum again so yeah, it's got a little river running through it and it does have some wild dinos spawning on here but there's not terribly many um, is that the yeah okay we'll get to that in a minute Okay, um, right, back to where I was actually intending to go. Um, so yeah, so that's that one exit. This one takes you back up on the path, and you can follow it around, and then you've got a staging area here where you can... Ooh, cool statues, survivor statues. Where you can get your dinos ready to take them into the arena itself. So, arena's got green start, red start, a couple of rocks, uh, probably breakable rocks, scattered about. Um, that's a really cool King Titan statue. That's really nice. Love it. Okay, cool. And then I'll just show you the other feature of the arena, which is really cool. So we just head back to the storage area. 
go to the teleporters and you can teleport to the arena. It costs one stone and this stone I've already used so it's just refreshed itself which is quite nice and it will take you to the arena viewing platform. I'll probably just put a small cut in here so you don't have to wait the full 30 seconds with me. Okay, so this is the arena viewing platform. It's actually really difficult to actually spot from down in the arena. Like, I didn't even realize this was here to start with the first time I came and looked. Um, it's basically an invisible glass walkway all the way around the arena. Um, it terminates on either end. So it terminates just down here and over there as well. And yeah, you can see literally all of the action here because of the invisible floor, invisible walls. There is an invisible ceiling as well. You can't fly off it and you obviously won't get hit by any um, wayward fireballs or anything. But yeah, this has to be one of the most well thought out arenas I've ever seen. Not that you see very many of these things um, outside of uh, private servers. But it is really well done, like you wouldn't miss a moment of the action from up here, which is very cool. Also, I'm really just loving the aesthetic of it. I uh, do get a little bit stuck on these, uh, these sometimes, but you just move across and that's fine. And then they've got teleporters here that take you back to the storage area. Okay, so yeah, we just teleported back into the storage area here. So. There's one last bit I wanted to show you, so if we follow it round past the arena and the staging area, all the way around here, like this is really cool, I can just feel it like a day out with the kids kind of thing. This looks like it's a site that's going to be a work in progress, a bit of metal here or maybe it's just a place where you can gather some resources, I'm not too sure. Um, pretty dense foliage yeah that's just the um, the walkway cool it's a small map but it feels a lot bigger because everything's very well well put together very well hidden so it's very cool and let's go find the next place yeah just down here yeah I've gone past it there we go okay so this is the ruins which is another arena type thing uh, it's obviously a lot more stone, there's like a viewing platform, you can get up to it from the river if you want. Mm, Castoroid is. Cool. Yeah, and so it's another like little arena type thing um, for whatever you want to use it for really. Um, maybe it's like the closing rituals of the games or something where you present trophies, rewards, little bag basket of gems over here. And yeah, I'm really, like I said, I'm loving the attention to detail on this map. Like it's very, very cool um, what they've done with it. So they do have plans to expand it further. Oh, there's some light down here. What's that light? Okay, just a seemingly random torch and a zip line. Zip line going up to here. Not too sure what these are about. But. Oh, there's obsidian up here and crystal. Cool. Uh, more random torches. <laughs> a little camp. Just found this. It's funky. They've got quite a lot of little hidden detail. That's really cool. Not too sure why it's here, but it's here and I love it. Okay. Let's just have a quick once around the perimeter to see if we've missed anything else. Another torch, little wooded area with some ruins and Araneo. Cool. Oops. It's okay, I've got infinite stats on, that's fine. And yeah, another ruins up here. Looks like you can enter this one. Ooh, a treasure chest. Nice. Survivor level 50 to open. And well, let's and buff ourselves and let's GCM okay I mean that Aranea will ignore me now because uh, thingy let's give ourselves 50 levels there we go okay let's see what's in this treasure chest uh, scuba tank and uh, just usual supply supply cache building uh, 
Yeah. Okay, we've got another. Wow. Another zip line. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't seem to lead to anything. This is really cool. Um, any more for any more? That is the question. So we're over the storage area now. Uh, can't see anything. Might have missed something. If I have missed something, you know, shout down in the comments. Because this is a really fun little map to explore. Uh, I won't go in the water, but it looks like there's nothing in that pond. If I go in the water, I'll bugger up my flying. And nothing looks like in that pond either. So yeah, uh, you will spawn in over in this bit, which is called Misty Cove. It's the only spawning location on the map. It's like a half buried Viking longboat. I don't think there's anything underwater. Um, but I haven't, if I'm honest, properly looked. Um, but one of the things they will be adding is a couple more islands as well for events. Um, so you could have like a full on PvP war going on on an island or a PvE war or something like that. A couple of things I think would be really cool to add if they get the chance. Um, obviously they kind of want to keep the map as small as possible. But a couple of things would be like a race course maybe. And um, in fact come to think of it maybe that's what that entire stretch of zip lines is. How do you get up to it in the first place I wonder? Is it here? Could be. Not too sure. But that may be what that is. Or like a race course and maybe like something for underwater type events. Be very cool. Like um load of vacuum pools, uh vacuum compartments for viewing and then like a big underwater arena or something. Um but you know, obviously it's not my mod, so uh, I don't really get to have much of a say in that. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And it looks like a really cool map just to add to your server, just to do, well, to your cluster in order to do events and stuff like that, rather than actually clagging up space on your own server and causing lag issues and whatever else you've got going on um, that might make it difficult to like build something like this. Well, you've got one pre-made, which is really awesome. Okay, onwards with the next mod. Okay, so this last mod we're looking at is the pre-made structures mod by one David two five, and basically what this does is add some prefabricated structures that you can put down and pick up. Nothing too crazy, but it just makes life a lot easier in terms of things like taming pens and just starter houses and cuts out some of that early grind, especially if you're playing on vanilla and you can't pick up your taming pens after you've used them. So it's just all over a bit of pain or it takes a long time to pick them up or whatever. So let's just have a look here. So this is the starter house. So let's just check that out. I mean, that's a pretty grand starter house, but yeah, cool. So it's actually got glass in the windows. <laughs> So yeah, so that looks like a stone ceiling with just a small wooden 3x4, something like that. A uh, house with like a little bit of a veranda out front. And you can just put that down and you can just pick it up again. Which is very nice. So let's check out the next one. So uh, basic house, basic large. Okay, so let's check out the basic house. This is a bit more of a substantial building. So yeah, you can see that's got stone, glass in the windows. It's half buried because it's on a, a, a slope and floating over here, but you get the gist of it. So yeah, you go in, you've got like separate areas over here for like storage and crafting or whatever. And then upstairs, you've got this little bit here, which is quite cute. It's actually a really nice house design. I think it's kind of adorable. I like it, it was well done. And then you can pick it up again. So see the pickup time has run out, but I can still pick it up. So uh, for this next one, I'm just gonna go find something. I had to kill a giga because Ragnarok Island. But let's just go find something we can draw into it. Okay, so I got a trike down here and that'll do. Um, so let's stick down our taming pen. Uh, basic large. So let's check out their size first because this is the starter taming pen. 
So this should be enough for a trike, I think. So yeah, you've got really broad ramp there and you can get out of it this way. And yeah, uh, you've got these windows here that you can shoot through, which is actually something I'd never considered. So I think that's really cool. So let's just go punch a trike and check how it works. Boom. How do you like me now? Okay, through the door. And the trike is in the pen. Oh, the trike just ran out of the pen. How did he do that? Got no idea how he managed that. Um, curious. Try getting him in there again. Is it in? Well, if worse comes to worse, you can always sit in here and then shoot out. Yeah, he must have glitched through the wall or something, but I think that's probably more of an issue with this particular trike than anything else. But you get the theory. So let's, and again, this is fully pick upable. So pick up, and you can switch the foundations to blocks as well. Let's just see what that looks like. Uh, let's see if the large taming pen does any better. Okay, well, this one is majestically huge so this would be for like a rex or something like that it's got the windows you can fire through again let's just get the trike interested come on gotta get up here to get me so down out through the door okay yeah he's definitely stuck in that one so then you can come up here and shoot or if it's a rex or something that might be able to hit you you can just shoot through the windows until it's unconscious and again, you can just pick it up, uh, switch to block, that changes the foundations. So yeah, that just changes the look of the foundations. There we go. Okay, so the next one is a bird taming pen. So I'll just go find a bird of some description to tame. We need something aggressive. So let's go find an Argentivis, because Argentiviss are what everyone wants to tame. Okay, and there's a couple over there. So we'll just test this out here. So let's check the bird taming pen. Okay, that's a really nice bird taming pen design. Um, yeah, you run them in there and they get stuck is clearly the theory. I can't see... Yeah. So you need your own gate, so I'll just build a gate now quickly, but you only need the one. Oh, go away. Sabre. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. So let's put a reinforced gate on this puppy. Okay, so we've got our Argentifus coming towards us now. I'm just going to walk to make life a bit easier for myself. Come on. Oh, you? Okay. Uh, run around the side. Okay, that's gotten stuck on the outside. As we all know, taming an arc is never really perfect. Okay, that's flying off. Let's try and get this one. Come on, dude. I don't like you. Okay. So in, out around the back. And whoa! What the hell happened there? Why did that just get destroyed? Let's put down another one. That's better. 
Yeah, I've got no idea why that just got destroyed. Okay. Well, obviously I was able to do that because I'm in infinite stats, but as you can see, the taming pen does actually work. I'm not too sure what happened with that first one, just um, got completely trashed. Let's just clear out this. But yeah, so there we have an angry Argentavis all ready for taming, so a few headshots and you're good to go. But yeah, not too sure what happened with the first one, maybe it was glitched or something. But this is really cool. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. We've had a look at one cool creature mod and a couple of very useful mods. So we've had a look at the map that you can use for server events. We've had a look at these um, just prefabricated structure mod, which is really handy. Um, yeah, just to destroy my gate. But yeah, so. I hope you've enjoyed this and if you at any point you've enjoyed this video please uh, hit like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and I also stream Primal Fear over on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. If you want to come along, hang out, chat mods or just chat in general you're uh, more than welcome and I'd love to see you there. So thank you very much and wherever you are in the world have an absolutely great day.